Okay guys, I'm phone vlogging right now, but I just got out of EB Games and there's something special in here that I want to show you guys. It's pretty late, but we're going to go home and show it off. But I guess guys, uh, let's get started. <laughs> it's exciting guys, you'll like it a lot. You probably know from the title and thumbnail, but and you might be able to see it. It was cool. Okay guys, so now that we're back home, I want to give you a little bit of a rundown of what happened. So I know I didn't film much in EB Games, and this pretty much this entire video is around EB Games. But what I what I want to tell you is this. So I had curling today, we went there, we lost, I know 9-1, but we did win our game on Tuesday, which we won 6-5, to five. so I mean, hey, we, we were playing the, probably one of the best teams in our league right now, so we lost a bit. But, you know, just to make myself a little bit happier, I decided to go down to EB Games. Me, my dad, and Noah went there. We went and got pizza, and we went over there. Now, the point of the story is, when we went in there, I was like, oh, you know, it's a Thursday, so maybe we're going to see something a little bit different. And then we were like, oh, I don't know. You know, you never really see too, too much in there. So I thought, okay, whatever, we'll just try since we're at the mall already. And, oh, this isn't really a Christmas video, so I thought I'd you know, um, anyways guys, Christmas coming up, if you guys don't know, Merry Christmas, um, but, so while we were in there, I was looking at the big pop wall, I checked the Buddy the Elf pop, see if there's a chase in there, check the Grinch ones, check all the stuff, you know, see what there is, see if there's any chases, and, um, I didn't see much, um, but I did see, like, some of their exclusives, I saw the new Crash Bandicoot flocked one, but I didn't see too much, so then, I'm kind of, like, looking around, and Noah says, there's one of those spike, what, what do you, what do you call it, it's the Skywalk speeder bike behind the counter, and I was like, oh, that's weird. Is it the one with Leia? He says, no, it's the one with Luke. So then I was like, wait a second. And I thought, and then guys, so I thought for a second, maybe this was held there for, it's getting kind of itchy. I thought maybe this was held there for like uh, someone was working there or something like that and they were trying to save it or whatever. Or, you know, just being like sticklers about it and was going to say, oh no, this is for someone else. They were holding it. I thought they were going to be like that. But when I asked them, I was like, hey, um, is that for sale back there? And they said, yeah, no, yeah, it's for sale, of course. And then I was like, oh, okay. And they're like, would you like to buy it? And I'm like, uh, of course. So here it is here guys, we have Luke Skywalker with speeder bike. Now this is the chase version, if you guys don't know, the original version is Leia. So they changed the person on the actual speeder bike. And what's cool about it guys is you can see it back here, you can see all the trees flashing by like he's speeding really quickly, and then you can see him there, this is his uh, glam shot kind of. I really do love the actual Pop Deluxe. Now the difference between a normal Pop Ride and a Deluxe, now I know some of you might not know that, because it really just looks like they're riding something like a Pop Ride. The Pop Deluxe, they don't come off of it, so they're in more of a a cooler pose, let's say. So like maybe they're holding the steering wheel or something like that. So they're stuck in there so they can have a better pose than they had because I know with the one that I have up there, it's from Game of Thrones. It's, uh, I forget what her name is, on a dragon, but her body's kind of weird the way she is because it's like, it's set like that. So it should have been a Pop Deluxe where she was actually set on there and wouldn't come off, but that was back then when they just did Pop Rides. But here it is here, guys. The box isn't perfect on this, but it is the Chase version, so I thought I might as well pick it up. It was $40, but you get it uh, $40 at EB Games, but I got it for $35.99 because I have my uh, Platinum card. There it is there, guys, down there if you guys want to see it or anything. Uh, but yeah, so the ones in this set are Zuckus, Luke Skywalker, Endor, which pretty much goes with this one, actually, it was on Endor. Uh, Yoda, Dagobah, Guardian, Emperor Spy, Luke Skywalker, Hooded, and Princess Leia, which is from Hoth. So let's take this guy out so you guys can see it a bit closer up. Now, what I want to do is I want to try and do it on the rotating base. It might look a little awkward because of how big it is, but I'm going to try for you guys. Now, I also noticed that the insert in the back was bent a little bit down on the bottom, but you honestly don't notice when it's in there, and I feel like it could be like that on purpose. I'm not sure, but either way, all in all, it looks great. Now, they do come with these little things here. I remember when the Funko used to not do these, but the little, almost like plastic, like, clamps that you use. And this one has a bobblehead, of course. The, the little clamps just kind of help it stay in there. Here it is here, guys. I love this thing. This thing's great. Now, the difference between the Leia one and the Luke one is Leia has little eyelashes right there. So I believe the head, if I'm not mistaken, is exactly the same. Luke has his little glove on his hand because, you know, how he lost his hand and everything. So uh, they actually give that one a black hand. And then he's got a different color, um, like, cape going here, like, almost like, a, you know, cloth back there. And then a different color shoes and boots. I believe the speeder is exactly the same. And I also like it how they made it so it's floating like that. I'm glad it's not like sitting or something like that before it starts to lift off or whatever. But I think this is really awesome. They gave it a nice little base with like a mossy kind of rockish thing. And then they put Star Wars down there, which is nice as well. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is the actual logo for Star Wars is this way, but its face faces this way. So if you want to do it like this, 
you see it forward, you don't see the Star Wars logo. I guess it's a good spot to put it, but you know, it's just one small thing that kind of bugs me. But I do like the speeder, and this reminds me of like photos that you can take in Disney, if you guys know that spot where um, right outside the ride, which is Star Tours, they have one of these usually with a little Endor kind of setup. I believe they have it in just Disney World. And I don't know if it's in Disneyland. I've, I've been there, but I don't remember if it is. I don't know, guys. If you know, put it in the comment section below. But it's right here, guys. You can see it, and then it's like you can pose in front of it, and it looks like you're flying or whatever, in, or like it looks like you're soaring by. And then they also have the nice cape with the flap out. I'm glad they gave it to him like that, so it almost looks like he is going really quickly, and then the wind's blowing his cape, and his hands are on this is what I'm talking about here, guys. If it was just a normal pop ride, I don't think they'd be able to do it because it'd be really awkward and he couldn't be holding onto the handles here and he would just be like this sitting on it. And it just, it would, it would look odd. But I do think this helmet looks very detailed. I love it. I think this thing looks great. I was really surprised to find this. Now, if you guys want to find one of these for yourself or want to try and pick one up, you guys can order them online for more expensive or they're only a one in three chance of getting it. So it's not that rare, but it is worth a pretty penny if you want to try and buy it online. I believe it's 65 American pop price guide has it at, which means people are selling it for a little bit less, a lot more usually. Pop Price Guide really does inflate their prices, but they do take prices from eBay and Amazon, so I guess it does make sense, but really it does fluctuate because of Pop Price Guide, I'm guessing. So if you guys want to try and find one for cheaper, just try and go to your store. I believe this one was 35 like I said earlier, Canadian, and it's worth 65 American, so that's not a bad deal at all. And I just think it looks really detailed, and if you guys wanted one of these, it's great. Now this also looks pretty sturdy. I know it looks kind of flimsy, but this is really sturdy. It's a nice plastic, actually. It's thicker than you'd think. Um, but yeah, guys, let's show you some close-ups and a clip of them going through Endor now. Okay guys, so this has been another episode of Top Pops. This is a great pop, like I said earlier, and um, you know, just in general, guys, I think this was fun. Too bad that I couldn't film in EB Games more. I really did want to, and I even said to my dad, I was like, hey, what if we filmed in there? And then he was like, well, you didn't bring the camera and everything, so it would have been a lot of work. We would have had to go home. This might not have been there anymore. And it was behind the counter, which was weird. I thought it might have been on the shelf. You'd think it'd be on the shelf with the rest of them. You know how they're all turned sideways. If you guys if you guys know EB Games, I know GameStop does theirs where it's like a big shelf of them, but at, um, um, EB Games, now, did I say GameStop? I meant GameStop. EB Games has this shelf, but they're all turned sideways, and then sometimes there's bigger ones at the bottom, so I thought this would be there. I didn't see any more of these except for the Chase one, so maybe people didn't see it, or the box was a little bit damaged on the top. I mean, it's not bad. You could honestly fix that, but it's a little bit t tilted on the top. Like, it would be just a little bit more like that. And then, you know, the bottom's a little bit pushed out. But other than that, guys, honestly, it looks fine from the front. And that's how I display it anyways. So, yeah, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Hope you guys can find your own chases of these if you wanted one. But anyways, thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I don't, I don't know why I said that. Merry Christmas, guys. Just like the